one ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all, and in the darkness, find them. All right, welcome back, Vintage Gamers. I have in front of me the one ring. Well, four of the one ring. Uh, thanks you to not me for both the deck idea and loaning out three rings for tonight's stream. I did purchase a fourth ring just because I felt like it's very important to this deck's identity and success. Uh, what we have here is a ring workshop control deck. Now, the ring costs four mana. The ring is hard to get into play. I feel like you need to do something to accelerate it into play. Something like a dark ritual or a mana drain or in this case a workshop. Uh, and, and I also think that the the ring lends itself to a control strategy because you're going to draw a lot of cards, uh, which is unfortunate because it's very hard to fit a you know dark ritual or a workshop in a controlling strategy. But what we have here is we're kind of using workshop as a ritual effect to power out the one ring early and power out an extremely uh, dense amount of blue, blue pitch forces. So we have uh, force of will. Force of Negation has four ofs. We also have some Mind Break Traps and some Subtleties. Some other blue power inside of a Workshop Saga Wasteland Crucible uh, shell. We're going to play four rings alongside four uh, tomes. This is the Initiative Tome uh, to give us, you know, a, a high density of, of controlling, um, you know, kind of like card draw payoff spells uh, for our uh, huge amount of pitch counter magic. We do get to play Tinker Sphinx. Uh, and Vault Key to go with our Saga, uh, and that ends up being pretty convincing control shell. Now, uh, the ring draws a lot of cards very fast. Uh, into the battlefield, you get protection from everything until your next turn. That has definitely some uses. Chat's talking about a lot of them uh, in right now, but uh, gaining protection from everything buys you a turn versus a lot of the aggro decks in the format, and uh, can be very, very helpful. Um, you do care about life loss in this deck, which is part of the reason I don't think we want Ancient Tomb. Uh, I did consider adding Ancient Tomb, but instead I have a, a, a Singleton City of Traders to help with our Saga and, and ramping out one ring. Um, the life loss is extremely relevant. Like when you draw seven cards with the ring, you do need to find another ring to replace it and stop the life loss. Um, besides that, uh, I have Ley Lines, a bunch of things to deal with. Uh, artifacts, especially Jewel and Null Rods. Uh, this deck is really, really weak to Null Rod and Collect Roof mostly. You do have some game plans where you have, uh, you know, Saga and Tinker and some other things, but you don't have Ancient Tomb, so your Saga plan against Null Rod and Oof is a little bit worse. Uh, so you kind of just want to not have them resolve. Uh, you do have some ways to stop them when they resolved, uh, but yeah. I don't think this deck wants Mana Vault. Again, the one life every turn after you use your Mana Vault, it does matter. And so I think we're going to pass on the Mana Vault, though. You could totally add a Mana Vault. I, I instead am playing City of Traders. I think it's slightly better here. Um, Anything else? Uh, Yeah, the, the one problem with Tome, I like Tome a lot, uh, but you don't have a lot of removal. So it's very hard to keep the initiative if they have resolved a creature. So that's a pretty big downside of Tome. But having the initiative is actually like a way you can uh, uh, squeeze out some wins. So, um, Anything else? Anything else? No, this should be fun. Uh, I had a test league. It went okay. So I'm hoping it will go. This is a much more interesting deck to me than something like KCI or VAT or even Storm. Because I, I just have a lot more faith in this idea. Uh, as opposed to playing a Force of Willless, you know, colorless workshop version. Or playing some kind of crazy dark ritual version. So... Uh, of course, if this doesn't work out, I will probably try, you know, the Dark Ritual version or maybe, maybe even the Mana Drain version uh, on stream at some point. But hopefully this prelim goes well and uh, you'll have some good One Ring content. Uh, I'll see you in round one. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. All right, here we go. Round one. We're looking for four mana. We have four mana. We're looking for a force. We have a force. Great hand. We also have Crucible Wasteland lock. So, yeah. 
I think you don't want to run bad cards in your vintage deck, and I consider Ivory Tower to be a bad card. So, just... Like, the life loss matters, but if you draw seven cards, you typically find a second uh, ring, and then you just get rid of your first ring, and then you're fine. This is definitely a keeper. We have good pl good play against uh, Bazaar. We've got good play against uh, count uh, some kind of uh, combo deck, and we have... Multiple different turn ones. I think I have to negate this. They played mono white before, right? I don't even know if it matters if they played mono white before or not. I think you just have to negate this because I don't have a force of will. And if they play any creature here, I'm not happy. I'm like pretty upset if they play any creature here. Pretty sure there used to be like a four color death rate shaman player at some point too. Combo shops, combo shops, aggro vine, counter vine. Hmm. I just have to negate this. If I had a force of will, I think I'd let it resolve. But because I have a negation, I think I just have to hit it. Chalice on zero? <sighs> Man, that is bad. And a wasteland. Okay. Chalice on zero is really bad for me. Um, I think I'm down to just trade wastelands here. It looks like they might be on like a ring shops. If I can get a workshop uh, and play a crucible, I'll be happy. Whoa. So maybe it's aggro vine and they kept a collector roof start. See, don't think I'm gonna hit this cradle. <laughs> well, I guess if they play a Yavamaya, I should have hit this cradle. Mm! I'm this is a mistake. I didn't get, I didn't have a like, I do want to keep this lands in play to try to make my way to Crucible, but if they hit a Yavamaya and play, I guess I don't care about a oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, um, interesting. I think I was going to get Collector Roof, I agree. So I really want to play... I kind of want to play Tome this turn. They didn't have anything last turn, so they have to top deck something. I think I'm willing to take the risk here and get this, get this train going. I do think that I made a mistake, and I should have wastelanded this cradle in case they had played a Yavamaya. But they could, because they didn't play a Yavamaya, I know they don't have one, so I think I just want to get this Tome in play. Oh, this thing makes one mana? Okay. Next turn, we can double waste. It's true. Though, uh, we would then lose the initiative to a Collector Roof or something, but... All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go down the scry zone and try to find a ring or a saga and another tome. I think I'll take a saga and another tome. I'm gonna not play this crucible out. Um, because I don't want it to get vigored. Wow, they drew up bizarre. Holy moly. Uh, so this is, could be really bad depending on what comes off of this. So next turn we get to make a t a, a construct maybe, and. Oh no, they're going to bring back a vine. That's super frustrating because now we lose the initiative. We do get the initiative back with our next tome, but we don't get to a catacombs fast enough. Maybe I should have bottomed the second tome. Hmm. We are going to still get to make a construct. It's just not very large. Oh, we're not going to be able to make a construct because we don't have the initiative. 
Wow, that top deck bazaar is so bad for me. I have to waste them. Maybe I don't have to waste them. I actually think I, I'm not allowed to waste them here. I think I have to play a top. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. This gives me a stash token. This gives me a stash token. Never mind. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, wait, we're not fine. That's still not enough because I don't have the initiative. No, 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 that is enough because I, yeah, that's five. Okay. Oh, plus I'll have the initiative anyways. I don't even need a stash token because I'll have the initiative. So this will make two again. It's fine. What am I, what am I talking about? That also gives me another artifact. Actually quite important. So this is a 4-4, four, four, so I won't even block the hollow ones here. Oh, I guess if they go into the trap zone. But I want to get 5-5 five, five tokens. So I feel like you don't block here. Oh. I mean, they should attack all, probably. They have to get the initiative back. So for me, is this a block? So the problem is, if I don't block, I go to 8... They forge. I think this is okay. I think I have to do this. I want them to forge onto this and not this. Yeah. All right. I'm going to block. All right. So are they going to forge onto the Vengevine? Probably. Yes. But our second one should be pretty big still. So... I think we're fine, actually. I guess I do have to use both tomes. And I just get my saga back. Or what can I get off of this? I have a top I can get off of this. I could get a key. It's probably a top, so I can try to find a, 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 a ring. So I can not get trapped. Though, if I do that, I won't be able to play a new Saga this turn. If I were to, like, do a top and spin a top, Hmm. I mean, I'm, I think I get a top no matter what. It's just, am I actually going to spin it? Because if I spin my top, I need to either use my treasure token, which looks pretty bad. But it's so good if I find a ring. Because if I just play Crucible, I'm still trading with this Vengevine, which looks kind of bad. I don't want to use this. I can just play my Academy and spin. I just don't know if that's actually what I, I really want a Saga in play, right? I think it's just play Saga. Really don't want to get trapped. If I get trapped and I trade, I go to eight. Maybe it's just fine. Um. Yeah, I just can't do it. There's like nothing I can spin into here. Like, getting a ring right now would be so good because I would take no damage from this, no damage from trap. But it's probably... I mean, it delays my saga a turn, which I just think is horrible. 
Mind Break Trap Seagate Restoration Mox Pearl. I guess I can technically just cast this Seagate Restoration. Do I care about um, having active Mind Break Trap at all? It's got to be worse than just like drawing five cards. Maybe I don't have enough. One, I one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'll have enough, right? I can even like make token. Oh, we're fuck. Really? I guess we just die. That's super frustrating. They pitched the collector if they had all game. Wow. I just, why would they hold that? Wouldn't they have been better off? I don't know. So I, I could have beat this by... Playing Academy, playing Academy, playing Workshop, spinning into Trap. I just didn't think they had a Vigor. This was a really rough game because they just drew the Bazaar at the exact right turn and we were so close to getting through it. We just kind of needed one ring. Very frustrating. I'm not convinced that the Saga play is better. I, I think there's like enough hits. Maybe I should have just spun off of the treasure. Anyways, uh, I think you need to play Dismember and Might Stone. And do we actually want Portal at all? Doesn't feel bad to have that. And then negation's just terrible, but are we going to have enough blue sources? I feel like the answer is going to be no, right? Well, it's not bad. It's still better than, it's still better than Jewel. <laughs> I think we need to take out some tomes in this matchup. Those look really bad. No, you don't play Leyline against um, Agravine. Uh... Yeah, I guess we... I mean, what do you want to keep in? Oh, there's no Lattice in our sideboard. Is that intentional? Like, Karn can stand up a ring. Why do we, Why is there no Lattice in our sideboard? Do we never need a Lattice? Interesting. All right, uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Keep Seagate Restoration. Let's go. Gonna cost some life here, but it's not really about a Karn board. It's just like turning your Karn into a win con, right? And this deck, I think, kind of needs the win con. So I think I want to change to a Karn to, to a Lattice. I hope this hand is actually going to be good enough, but I mean, I have to play it, right? If I cast this Ancestral Overdraw, probably. Once upon a time, you got it. I'm not countering that. Six card hand on the draw. Hex drinker is found. Found a, found a ring, but no mana acceleration. Might be able to trap them this turn, depending on what they do. All right, Black Lotus. We're definitely trapping them. Two Black Lotus hands. I was kind of hoping 
just misstep that. And then we'll trap this oof. Oh. I mean, yeah, uh huh. Okay. There's no oof? I see. I don't really see. <laughs> I don't really understand, but we'll put our lethal in play with double force back up. I think we'll be okay as long as they don't have some kind of crazy ba uh, bizarre hand. Maybe they were hoping their once upon a time hit the maneuver. They have a bizarre. No, no, no. All right. What do you got for me? Double Ruwala? Guess I get the trap again. If they have a follow up. Oof. All right. Mind break trap your hollow one. <laughs> All right, I mean, they have nothing but three Root Wallas, and I have Active Saga with the token and Vault Key. Oh, they have Pump. Okay, yeah, that's still kind of annoying. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I also have that, so that's fun. <laughs> Guess we're not playing more. <laughs> uh, all right, that was a weird game of Magic. I must, I must admit, I did not expect that game to go the way it did. But we take those. Um, all right, this card is horrible, for what it's worth. But is it worse than Tomb? Tomb? I don't know. We had like all of our blue cards in our hand that game. That was kind of wild. Oh, wait, I kept a Hercules recall in. Good lord. Negations are so bad, though. I don't know. <laughs> I just need blue cards, right? Uh... I just need to make sure I have Force of Will, right? Soul Guide draws a card. Yeah, Soul Guide's probably better than a negation. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll play this, I guess. Uh, all right, on the draw is not a good place to be. Maybe they'll mulligan. Uh, this hand's pretty bad. No acceleration. Powder. Hollow one, wasteland, wasteland, vigor. I would assume this matchup is not good for us. Wait, what? What? What is it? Hello? Magic Online! This is supposed to be City of Traders. It registered the wrong deck. Or, 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 I forgot to re-enter which is probably more likely <laughs> it's probably my fault i probably forgot to re-enter city of traders would be a lot better here i agree well i'm keeping this hand can't wait to slam negation on a once upon a time no i actually think i forgot to re-enter i don't think i left and re-entered uh The problem is, I have a Needle, but they have double Vengevine? No! No! Oh, wait. I don't think you're supposed to play that Hollow one. Playing a Hollow one with two Vengevines in the yard is... Alright, so do we, like, look and see if they have a Vigor? And then cry? Like, what do we... We can't even beat a Vigor, right? There's no point. No Vigor. Well, also, we do Force of Flow. They do have a Wasteland for our, our Saga, though. And a Besiege You and a Cradle. All right. So if I play 
Buried Ruin, Sapphire Top, Needle, and Don't Play My Saga. There's like no chance they wasteland it, right? If I play my Saga and they wasteland it, I can still... What if I Needle Wasteland? I would lose. Okay. Noted. I mean, it looks like they actually made the right play in playing the Hollow One uh, because we had our one Needle, which is kind of interesting. I mean, they can just, like, play Wasteland, not use it, and then play Cradle, and then Besage you. Right? So, like, I actually think we we're supposed to get our Saga Wastelanded. Maybe. I don't know. Not sure. I, I'm not, like, I'm, I'm, I'm almost thinking where we might have wanted to get our Saga Wastelanded close it's weird because normally you hold this hollow one for the double venge vine but i guess if you have nothing else in your hand and you're worried about needle it makes sense to play the hollow one it's good news for us because we don't have to worry about these venge vines in the yard right now wasteland okay attack okay uh what's our best draw i don't know Tome is definitely not it. <laughs> My god. Uh, that's why I cut some of the tomes. Crucible. Mana Crypt's Time Walk. Okay. So if I play my Saga and they don't immediately Wasteland it and cast Time Walk... And then on my next turn, they definitely wasteland it. I can draw, I can't draw and play Crucible, right? I think all of this is just too slow. I think we just leave time walk on top no matter what. Yeah. All right. So are we going to change the plan? What we can do is spin and put crypt Toma, uh, Crypt and Crucible on top. Draw and play Crucible. Or, or... We could next turn draw Crypt, play Tome and Time Walk. Like, we could play Crucible next turn and get a Saga going again. They do have... Tome gives us the initiative, and then they take the initiative. Yeah, all right. I'm just going to spin this so I have. I'm going to have to spin this top below as well, right? Because I'm going to want to draw time walk after. So what I'm going to have to do is draw mana crypt. Play Mana Crypt, spin top, hold priority, draw with top. And 
Play Mana Crypt. Spin and hold priority. Draw Crucible and put the Time Walk below. Draw Crucible. And then put the Time Walk on top. So that next turn we draw Time Walk. An island, I guess. I guess my opponent could also just rip another land and play Besageo on my Saga, right? I think we're going to end up losing this game to our own Mana Crypt, probably, but there's not much I can do about that. I should not have six. What am I doing? I have force. All right, this puts me to six, which is two mana crypt flip. One, one mana crypt flip. No, I have a blocker, so two mana crypt flips. I think we were supposed to play Saga as our first land, but it was hard to tell in the t at the time. Besage you into oof. Oh no, besage you into besage you. Uh <laughs> so we lose our time walk and our top, get an island, and die in many, many ways. Yeah. It's a good draw. I mean I can't do anything about that. No, I lose my top. I don't think I can not. Oh, I may search. Yeah, I probably shouldn't search. You're right. <laughs> Tinker for Tinker for Sphinx probably wins for what it's worth. I lost my flip, of course. Ring? Dismember? <laughs> I probably wasn't, wasn't supposed to search, right? Could I have done anything if I didn't search? I could have replayed Saga and Time Walked. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't supposed to search. I don't know why I searched. I, I kind of just thought I had to search, but I did not have to search. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, yeah, so we just lose. Awesome. <sighs> this game is so frustrating. I think I was supposed to play the Saga on the first turn of the game. I don't know if that mattered, though. I mean, I wish I could. So if I didn't search with my time walk, I would just had to win another flip, right? So if I, sorry, if I didn't search off of a Seiju, then I have no land here. These lands here. I replay Saga. I play Tome Time Walk. And then I just have to win a Mana Crypt flip. I still, I just have to win Mana Crypt flips for the rest of the game. That probably was totally winnable. I just threw the whole game by searching. Why the fuck did I do that? I, I'm pretty sure we win this game if I, I just... I'm mean, not win this game, but I, mean, I, have to, I have to win all my mana crit flips, but... I feel like there's a good chance we would have won this game if I just don't search. Because of the way I set up the time walk, I can still go Saga time walk. Make a creature, it's, it blocks forever. I mean, I guess they could have another Besage or something. Huge throw. I mean, this tome was so bad, but like, what else could it, what, what else would it, could it have been, really? I guess I theoretically could be, have been playing like a Steel Sabotage or something. What about a Karn? Would a Karn have been good? Karn would have not been good. I made a would have maybe bought me some life. Actually, I, I kind of think Karn might have been better. I mean, Karn definitely better than Tome here, right? Tome would have been fine after I make a Saga token. Sure, I agree. 
but like who is ever allowed to make a saga token in vintage that just never, that just never happens okay here we go um hopefully just slightly better and we'll be in a good spot this hand has Hercules, Sapphire, Wasteland, Time Vault, Crucible, Subtlety, Tinker. If this hand just had one more mana, it'd be totally fine. Uh, I This is probably not it, unfortunately. We're going to put this one back. This hand has blue cards, but no artifact payoff for our four mana. That's unfortunate. Uh, technically, we have Saga Time Walk, though, and we're on the play. So it's probably just a keep anyways, and we just lead... How do we lead with this? Do we lead Seagate Rest? I mean, we can't lead Seagate Restoration. Do we lead Time Walk? I mean, is it going to be good for us if we go Saga go, Saga Jet Go, Seagate Time Walk, make a dude and get something? Is that good play? Or is there like some other line that we can do with that? I don't really know. That's... If we get wastelanded, we just have absolutely nothing. I, I'm just going to mulligan this. I'm on the play. Just give me something good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a problem with playing like wastelands instead of tombs. But um, My opponent has mulligan to five, which makes me think they're on mono white. I could keep this hand. I'm gonna keep this hand and just bottom the Karn and play. Oh, I can't. I can't afford to play a negation in this hand. I'm just gonna keep this hand like this and try to get there. Yeah, yeah. If you assemble Vault Key, you almost always will draw through your deck and have all the tools you need to win. It's very seldom. I can't. It's, I, I, there's probably not very many situations where that wouldn't be the case. So if we draw a workshop, I think we're in like a great spot, obviously. But uh, if we don't draw a workshop, we do want to see more mana pieces. I think our opponent is likely on mono white, but they could be on like a bizarre deck too. Let's see what they have for us. No, they're on green white Wessel with turn one Archon or turn one Collector Roof. All right. So I played the one ring deck and everyone showed up with four Collector Roofs in their deck. So not the best, uh, not the best one for me. Even if I were to like blind draw a workshop and play a ring, they just play a collector roof and turn off my ring. How do we play this game? We lose. That's so bad. Yeah, I think collector roof is one of the best cards right now. Just gotta find the right deck for it. I mean, they're probably going to just play Archon, I would assume. I'm going to change this to Sapphire so that I can Ancestral on their turn. Though it doesn't give me a land drop for turn. And they slam collector oof, but at least I get to draw my three beforehand. 
four color tempo. What is four color tempo? Is that like a Luris death right shaman deck? Actually, does this even like, I mean, it clears cards off the top of our library. I guess it's fine. Is that worth it? I'm just gonna fog. Hit the eye. Okay. So if we draw a saga, I take eight. I don't think it's fast enough. I don't think I have any outs. Tinker was definitely going to be something I was trying to draw into. If we had a single force of will in this hand, it probably wouldn't have even been good enough. Well, if we forced them, sorry, if we probed them and saw, um, collector roof, we'd probably just not force the archon force the collector roof and then we probably win through just archon so i mean if we keep like a a reasonable seven and force our uh and force collector roof i think we're fine but they also mulligan so all right so they're probably a little bit more aggressive of a green white wessel deck they have at least elvish spirit guide in their deck we're gonna bring in dismember portal might stone um and then we need to find things to take out, like Hercules. Probably keeping in all of our negations. Uh, Karn looks not great. Tomes look not great again. We have just second uh, collector roof deck of the night. I don't know how many things Mental Mist Up actually hits out of their deck, but I think it's fine. We played against Agrovine. It was pretty close. It was pretty close. I mean, that's kind of the perils of... <laughs> hey, everyone come play this prelim where I'm going to be playing four of the one ring, but... I also think that Collector Roof is just super strong against, like, Coveted Jewel and a lot of other decks in the format as well, so... So this hand has... a Force and a Dismember... I just think this is probably you have to keep this hand. I kept seven. It can't be good for me. It's kind of bad if they have like Wasteland as well. Mox is. I'm jealous. Yeah, I guess there's that one, too. Pr 
probably just need to dismember it. I can't really even afford to wasteland this, right? I think I just have to <laughs> play this out uh, and force their next play and then hope to draw a ring. It's not looking good. I guess a tome is fine. I, mean, I don't even know if they have caverns or not. It's an Archon. I mean, if we don't find anything, we might just double Wasteland them, but I mean, it just doesn't stop like any two drop, right? All right, well, I think that's enough to make, well, then I can't draw, if I draw a ring, I can't play it. I don't know. I don't have anything else going for me now, right? I gotta gotta let, it, let 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 the wastelands fly. Needle. Well, I guess I'm happy that I use my wastelands. The one ring has been needled. All right. Well, I don't have an out anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. I think I took out all of my move for that. Um... I took out the Hercules, right? And I took out, like, Karn. Wasteland of their own. Outland Liberator again. Man, playing against this deck is not good for me. Only to two life this time. Not sure how we're getting a portal in play, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a bad card. I don't think we're playing this game. Maybe I was supposed to strip mine them. Oh, uh, we don't play Brainstorm. Yeah. All right. Hey, look, the one ring. Oh. oh. All right. Yeah, sure. All right, what's in your hand? Can I concede? Archon Dungeoneer. Wow. Spirit Guide, Spirit of the Labyrinth. Does it make sense to play my ring out? Does that do anything for me? Yeah. I don't have any way to get rid of the needle. I didn't really expect a needle out of my opponent's deck. I don't have a Talarian Academy. I guess I could draw um, Crucible. Brutal. All right. 
All right, here we go. We're back for round three. This wow, this would have been a a very uh city of traders. I guess I don't have a mox in for Tinker, so I have all my best counter spells. You know, subtlety, subtlety. I'll put this one back. This hand is a mana short ish. This is probably just a keep though. If I draw a Saga, it's quite good. If I draw a Workshop, it's quite good. Even a Wasteland, it's fine. Oh my god. Why? Why am I playing against another Savannah deck? Uh, I'm going to get Collect Rooped on turn two and lose the game. What? That's a keep? All right. They're going to just like... I mean... I'm ready. Land Collector Roof. Misty Go. All right. Well, any land lets me cast a Ring or a Tome. And that's actually really good here. That's a land. I think I'm going to cast Tome in case I get forced. I'm also at 13 already because I played Mental Misstep, Gataxian Probe, Seagate. Also, Tome lets me play if I get Wastelanded after Forced. I can still play. Or sorry, I guess I can't do anything. Yeah, I'm going to play Tome. They don't have a creature in play yet. I think I like this idea. Watch them like fetch Dryad Arbor. Really get me. I was ahead of you on that one, not me. I was ahead of you on that one. I'm always thinking about the worst possible scenario that will definitely come to happen. Another thing, they're they're off it. They're off it. Why did you keep this hand? Another thing that's nice here is that if they do play a creature, like they they rip a creature this turn, uh, I can play one ring to give us an extra turn of the initiative as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's not letting me draw a card to find out how this game would have gone, but my opponent kept five lands, one drop, force of will, and then conceded. So I don't exactly know what that's all about. They're quite a competent player, so I'm not really sure. Maybe they maybe on tilt mode. Um, so I assume my opponent is playing like that, uh, maybe like Teferi and stuff. I'm not really sure. I assume they're playing stuff like Teferi and Lavinia and things that you can make uncounterable with the Lighted Halfling. I have, they have a Savannah, so I have to respect Collector Roof. I think we just bring in Mightstone, Dismember, Portal. Again. And take out Karn, Urkel's Tome, Tome again. I mean, this seems like a reasonable board plan when we think we're going to get attacked. Let's try it again. I, I must say, Nami, the, the hands that this deck provides uh, are some of the ugliest looking Magic the Gathering hands I've ever seen. They are just so bad. <laughs> uh, okay. We're doing it live. Uh, yeah, sure. You can look at my hand. Have I considered drawing workshop? Thanks for the great advice. Is this like playing jewel and drawing jewel? I, I can't accomplish these things that you're asking of me. 
Patch, Savannah, Collector Roof with Force Backup. Don't do me like this. Oh, Delighted Halfling. I think we just let this resolve so that we have possible Force Backup for our... Ri I feel like I'm being baited. Maybe I'll draw a Workshop and I can go like Tome Ring. The problem is, I really don't want this in play. And if I don't draw a land, it's so bad for me to let this to leave this in play. I'm just gonna misstep this. I, I it could be wrong, but I kind of I kind of think it has to be done. Oh, I should not have showed that. That doesn't matter. So, which one are we throwing into the pit here? That is most certainly getting forced now that I didn't keep my Force of Will. I'm going to put the Tome in again because I want my basic island. Though Tome plays worse into Vigor. All right, they had Force of Will, Force of Negation. So, yeah, I mean, is what it is. I'll draw a workshop, right? I think I, I, I don't like the idea of letting that resolve. I see, I see. Hmm. This has not been a productive working environment for me to function as a deck player, vintage player. That's... I'm just going to hold that. I'm down to play the long game here. I got to make some content. All we've been doing is getting murdered. <sighs> All right, fine. Have your stupid halfling. Mm. Is the long game waiting until we're... I mean, we can play through this. I'm ready. I'm ready for the legendary creature that we've never seen before. Oh, you're right. They are a Ren and Six gamer. You're you're right. That's what that's probably what they're doing. No wasteland, huh? I'll hold my lotus petal. What if I draw ancestral opponent? Really? You don't want to wasteland me? Land boo. Yeah. Oh no, not like this. Savannah tropical boo. Bruh. This is not a combination. Allowable. Alright, so how do we win this game? I believe it's the card Urza's Saga. Yeah, OKMV's been known to run the main deck flux in the past. It has happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You pay for your null rod. I mean, we got 16 turns. We can draw... Basic Island, Basic Island... Why do they have Null Rod instead of Oof? 
Couldn't tell you. Brainstorm. All right. Hope you lock yourself. I think I do think that Null Rod is better against Jewel than Oof is, right? Hot cop for your TFT game, six bastion. You got it, homie. Bro, <laughs> now I can't even draw my basic. Six Bastion, and then you play a Philios carry, or um, you can play any carry, basically. Philios. Uh, Kale, Fast 9. Tons of fun things. You gotta do it now with TF before they nerf it to Oblivion. They are thankfully removing a lot of the problematic elements of that in the next patch. All right. I'll accelerate the clock by two turns. Show me your secrets. Py oh, they did have turn one Pyroblast off of Ruby. Incredible. You think I can bait them into hitting this Saga? I think we can bait them into hitting this Saga. The saga is really bad, by the way. They can just let it go completely because even if it finds something, it gets null rotted and then fluxed. Oh, no, I, the bait didn't work. All right, unfortunate. They don't care about saga. Sad day. I drew, t I drew Sphinx and then Tinker. You cannot make this up. I I do think that this game was possible to come back from. Like, if I draw running lands instead of running spells, I, I do think this game is totally winnable. So that's, like, a little frustrating. We have not drawn running lands at all. Uh, What do I want to remove from my deck? Yeah, we're not vault keying this game. Got him. I mean, they're not resolving anything right now. Well, I guess technically they can resolve anything they want to as long as it's legendary. Hindsight, I don't think we could counter this halfling. This is the second halfling. I don't think we had a force at that point. Maybe we did. I could have. Rough. There's the Ren and Six. Uncounterable Ren and Six. You've done it. Good job. Oh, yeah, I could have pitched my land. True. True. I could have totally have done that. I think this portal looks quite bad, actually. I actually think these tomes look fine. They probably just have just all like planeswalkers and they just substituted their death rights for the halflings or whatever. Uh, I do kind of want a way to bounce a null rod. And then... Uh... Alright, if they're not going to play... Oof, I don't need a might stone. I guess I'll just take out one tome. Wait, I can take out this dismember, right? I don't need dismember. I guess I'll leave in. I'll leave in a dismember. I'll keep Mightstone then. 
All right, this is the game where we draw workshop and play turn one resolve ring. This is the game where we play hope they don't have a wasteland. Man. I mean, I have to keep it, right? Like, half the saga game. Saga is so bad, unless it's not. It's so bad. All right, it's fine. Ring, 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 ring. Guys, let's go. I'm going to get mind break trapped and I'm going to like it. Ring, 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 ring. Uh... Ring, 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 ring. Let's go! Damn it, I want to draw a blue card. Oh, we're, we're going to get no rod, baby. Black Lotus, no rod. Oh, what's the halfling? All right, so I need to beat my own mana crypt <laughs> one ring combination here, which might not be the easiest thing for me to do. God, that's risky. All right, give me some cards. You know, I, I, I'm not... I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not meant to, I'm just not meant to play this game. It's just too much for me. I, I'm, I, I'm going to go back to playing budget formats and no more of this. We're, we're done retiring from vintage forever. I won both flips. Do I go again? We gotta go again. Draw cards. Let's go! It's so easy! Do we probe first? Oh, I don't have a blue mana. It's doomed. Alright, how much life can we do? How much life can we do? So we can go... We can draw an additional four more cards. God, I have so many choices here. Alright. What if this gets countered? What if I probe into a force? 13. 13. 10. 6. Oh, they got nothing. Oh, they got nothing. They got nothing. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Draw cards, draw cards, draw cards.
All right, so we can reset our ring, and we have Volt Key after, and then we just need to re just need to cast Tinker. Okay. So we've got a Mox. We just need to. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We just need to find the blue mana. We're just gonna, this turn. What we're gonna do? We don't need to resolve Tinker, so we can actually take the this whatever damage. I'm pretty sure it's fine. So we just play our workshop, play out all of our stuff now, and then play out our ring now, and then we just spin into a blue mana. And even if we don't, we still have Volt Key. I might not be able to play everything, though. How much mana do I have? Six mana. So I can't play Time Vault. I can play Time Vault and Ring, but not Top. I guess that's just fine, right? I want to play all these things while I can resolve them. I could even draw once with this Ring if I wanted to. Because that only puts me at three... Four damage, nine. Hmm. I guess I can make that choice later. Keep this new one ring. Gain protection from halflings. And then play my uncounterable time vault. Alright, so I have a top next turn. And I ever draw a blue source, I can tinker away my mana crypt. I don't think I need to draw. I guess maybe like if my top gets countered, I might need to draw. But is drawing and putting a counter on this better than just go drawing a card via an extra turn? Maybe. Because then at some point I'll have to have a third ring. Oh, they're off it. They're off it. <laughs> Opponent is not happy with their halfling. But they, they want Deathrite Shaman back is what they said. Which uh, sure looks right to me. This card does not look powerful. All right. They're, they didn't want to play out the mana crypt flips, I guess. Uh, So let's see. I probably would not draw. I would go to my next turn. I would draw. And I would hit a might stone weak stone. I can play top and spin top. Finding me crucible saga. then I would probably Might Stone for two cards. All right, so I didn't find that blue source in the first turn. <laughs> uh, and then I would... I mean, I have at least four turns, five turns. I did find Saga, which is, what, a, a blue source in two turns or something, so... I guess it's fine, right? Okay, I think we would I do think we would get there for what it's worth. I do think we would get there. Wow, we got to do the thing. The thing happened. Look at the ring. Look at the ring doing the thing. Yeah. Okay. God bless. All right. Unfortunately, we were the <laughs> the lowest breakers by uh quite a bit. So we got the buy-in round four, so there won't be any more matches in this video for this deck. Um, I do have, like, the small change that didn't go through where the Buried Ruin becomes a City of Traders to help us accelerate. Uh, this deck is bad against Collector Roof, and I don't exactly know how you would make it better against Collector Roof, really. Like, even Jewel Shop struggles versus Collector Roof, and they have some Might Stones and Weak Stones and stuff. 
I think we could have run hotter. Um, but overall, the deck produces extremely clunky hands and relies on you playing a turn one or turn two four drop, which means you really need to hit workshop in your opening hand. And unfortunately, I just did not have very many like workshop plus four drop opening hands in this tournament, which did not really make for compelling deck. I did play a league with this deck where I went three and two, and it seems like the core idea of the deck does work. Uh, when you get your ring and or tomb online in the first two turns and you start countering all their spells and wastelanding all their lands and making saga tokens, it does work. Uh, but I just don't know if the consistency in which it does that warrants further exploration is my, uh, is my analysis of it, so... Um, you got to see just at the very end there, the one ring doing its thing. I think for sure I'm going to play a KCI and a VAT league just so we can do some like really serious ring drawing with like keys and, and craziness. Uh, I think that would be a good time. Even if we just have to dodge, you know, null rods and collect roof. <laughs> Stay tuned for more ring action, more Lord of the Rings brews and vintage coming your way Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. I'll see you then.